Today I am at Target and I think I'm going to try on a bunch of clothes from the brand Target's brand Knox Rose. When I think of Knox Rose, I think of flowy, kind of boho and super comfortable, which is right up my alley. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you're here. I hope you will stick around, subscribe, but for now, let's go shopping. The first item I grabbed was this patterned skirt. It is maxi length and it has a ruffle towards the bottom. The pattern kind of reminds me of pixels because it's a bunch of squares. It is lined underneath and it has this really nice stretchy thick waistband. I tried this on in a size small and it was $30. To go with the skirt, I found this white long sleeve top. It is a thick rib knit. It has a scoop neckline and I tried it on in a size small and it was $20. I really like this outfit and these two pieces together. This skirt is amazing. I don't know what magic the fabric is, but it's so soft and silky feeling i was blown away by it i also really love the color story of this skirt the top piece of the skirt is fairly transparent but it has that navy blue lining underneath it and this skirt also comes in this red floral with leaves and flowers on it this white rib knit top is a decent basic it's pretty fitted at the top and then it kind of flares out towards the bottom which i thought was interesting it doesn't look intentional enough for me because it almost looks as though it was just stretched out which it's not a great look so i'm not really a fan of that the sleeves were a good length and i think that the wide rib knit is really pretty i just don't love the fit but it also comes in this mustardy brown in this light orangey brown in this purple and in this faded black Oh, and I noticed right at the end that this skirt does have pockets. Next, I found these clay colored high rise pants. They have a flared leg and the classic Knox Rose pockets sewn on the outside. They have a zipper fly and the back pockets are just simple open pockets. I tried these on in a size eight and they were $35. To go with the pants, I grabbed this patterned sweater. It's a cream color with these patches of floral and brown and the same color as the pants. So I think they should go well together. I tried this on in a size small and it was $30. Well, so far we're two for two on the outfits. I really love this. They go together so well. These pants are nice. I actually previously tried these on in blue denim in my Thanksgiving outfits video, but I think I like this color even more. They're decently stretchy, which also makes them pretty comfortable, and they were a good length on me. I'm 5'8 for reference. I think this sweater is really cute. I love the pattern because it's interesting, but it's not too in your face. The length hit right at my hips, and in terms of softness, I would rank it somewhere in the middle. And this sweater also comes in this olive green version with light pink and white flowers. Next up is this red patterned dress. This is basically the dress version of the skirt that I tried on. It has the same ruffle towards the bottom. It's a very similar pattern as well, just in red. It has a cinched waist and the cuffs on the sleeves are cinched as well. The sleeves are not lined and the scoop neckline is ruffled. I tried this on in a size small and it was $40. This dress is really pretty and the fabric feels amazing just like the skirt did. The majority of the dress has a background of red while the tier at the bottom is more pink. This dress does have pockets which is great. The neckline is really pretty and I love how the waist just snatches me in. The sleeves were a good length and I love that they're sheer just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. The pattern definitely has a lot going on and I think if I had to pick between the skirt or the dress, I would pick the skirt just because it is a pretty busy pattern and, and it's only half of the outfit that's super busy so it's not as overwhelming. I also personally like the colors better on the skirt. I wish the dress came in the blue but it also does come in this black and gray floral. Next, I found this green and white plaid dress. The skirt has a couple of tiers and it has buttons running down the middle of the dress. There's a tie at the waist and the sleeves have elastic at the wrists. The buttons continue on the top half as well and there is a V neckline. I tried this on in a size small and it was $38. This dress is midi length, which I think would look great with some boots. It does have pockets, which is always appreciated. This dress to me is a nod to a flannel shirt with a pattern and the buttons running down the front. 
The sleeves were a good length and they do balloon ever so slightly. I think the fit and the shape of this dress is really nice. It's also slightly Christmassy and it comes in this red and black plaid, which to me is even more Christmassy, but I definitely prefer the more subtle green. Next, I grabbed these mid-rise jeans. They have a straight leg and the cuff can be rolled up or unrolled. They have this multicolored chevron embroidery running down the sides, the seams on the sides. They have a zipper fly and I tried this on in a size eight and they were $34.99. To go with the jeans, I grabbed this mustard thermal top. It has long sleeves with long cuffs. It has a split neckline and I tried these on in a size small and it was $25. This outfit initially looks pretty boring, but then there's the embroidery running down the side of the jeans, which I think is fun. The jeans unfortunately didn't fit the best. The waist was too big, so I would definitely recommend sizing down with these, especially if you tend to be in between sizes like me. The straight leg is nice and here is one leg cuffed and one uncuffed so you can see the length. This top is a nice basic. The hem is curved in the front and the back and it is longer in the back. I like this neckline. I feel like most thermal knits I see have a plain crew or scoop neckline, so I really like that this is different. For some reason, this top is listed on the website as brown. It's definitely not brown. And it also comes in this pink, in gray, in white, and in black. Next is this yellow floral dress. It has a ruffle near the bottom and there's elastic running through the waist. The sleeves have elastic in them as well and it has a V neckline with a tie. I tried this on in a size small and it was $35. This dress hit a few inches above my knees. I think the shape of it is really pretty and this fabric is very lightweight. The elastic waist is nice and the sleeves are three quarter length. The V neckline is pretty and it does have that ruffle around the top of it. The color of this dress definitely stands out, but if you want something a little more subtle, it also comes in this dark green. Next up, I grabbed these mid-rise olive green pants. They are a jogger style, so they have elastic at the ankles. They have simple side pockets, there is a fake fly, and the waist is elastic with that tie running through it. It has some simple back pockets and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $29.99. To go with the joggers, I found this black velvet top. It has flowy short sleeves, it has a V neckline with seams coming from the neckline that go under the bust. I tried it on in a size small and it was $30. I love black and olive green together, but I'm not sure about these exact pieces together. I think the pants should be a higher rise for it to look better. These pants fit true to size and the length was a couple of inches above my ankles. These are a true mid-rise and I really like the tie waist. And these pants also come in this green camo, in this blue chambray, in silver, and in black. If I actually wore this outside of the dressing room, the top would not actually stay tucked in because it's not very long and with the pants only being mid-rise also. Besides that, the fit of this top was kind of off. The seams under the bust did not fit all the way under the bust on me, and maybe going up to a size medium would fix that, but I'm not positive. The sleeves are pretty. They're almost as long of a short sleeve as you could get with them still being a short sleeve, and this top also comes in this rose pink velvet. Next, I found this red eyelet dress. The entire dress is this eyelet pattern, and it has this pretty eyelet hem as well. It's basically sleeveless with this small ruffle around the armholes. It has a v-neck and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $30. The length of this dress hit a few inches above the knees on me and it was too big on me so I would definitely recommend sizing down at least one size. I really like the v-neck line and the shape of the seam under the bust. I think it's really flattering. The skirt of this dress fits pretty loose coming from that seam under the bust and I think that the eyelet pattern is so pretty and I also really love this red color and how it's kind of a muted red and this dress also comes in blue and yellow and in black. Another dress I grabbed is this golden orange one. It has a tear at the hem. It has this elastic waist and a slight V neckline with a tie. It has short sleeves and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $35. This dress is maxi length and I love how flowy it is. The tear at the bottom is nice and it does have pockets, but I thought they were weirdly low. I don't know why they didn't just put them right under the waistband. The flutter sleeves are nice and I really like the elastic at the waist and this dress also comes in a couple of pattern options and in black. 
Next up is this pink velvet dress. It has a couple of tiers at the bottom. It has this thick elastic waistband and the sleeves are long with a simple elastic at the wrist on those as well. It has a crossover V neckline and it has a slightly lower back with a tie at the top. I tried this on in a size small and it was $40. I think the last time I wore a velvet dress was when I was like six maybe, but I think this one is nice. I really like the tiers at the bottom and the top is really pretty as well. It is a crossover V neckline, which to me seems unnecessary. Unless you're a breastfeeding mom, then it's super helpful. The sleeves were a decent length, but I would say they're right on the edge of too short for me. I think this dress would be perfect for a holiday party. I love how shimmery it is. And this dress also comes in black. Next up, I grabbed these white mid-rise pants. They taper at the ankle. They have side pockets on the outside. They have a button fly that is seen on the outside and they have an elastic waistband. There are simple open pockets in the back and I tried this on in a size medium and they were $35. To go with the white pants, I found this floral blouse. It's black with pink, yellow, and white flowers and a lot of dark olive green leaves on there as well. The sleeves have elastic a couple of inches from the end and the V-neck line has a tie at the top. I tried this on in a size extra small and it was $30. I also grabbed this denim utility jacket. It has a zipper down the middle and pockets on the sides that are open. It has elastic around the waist and there are two chest pockets that close with a snap. The long sleeves have elastic cuffs. It has a collar and I tried this on in a size small and it was $40. I really like this outfit. I think the jacket kind of grounds the outfit and makes it perfect for this time of year. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should white be worn at this time of year or not? I really like this jacket. The elastic at the waist gives it some shape and the hem is slightly curved with slits on the sides. I like the combination of a utility jacket but in denim because it's not as expected and this jacket also comes in olive green which I also really like. Here is the outfit without the jacket on. These pants unfortunately were too big so I would definitely recommend sizing down in these. They actually fit more like a high rise on me which I prefer anyway for pants like these so that was fine. They were pretty baggy in the legs as well, but going down a size should help with that too. And these pants also come in this rose pink and an olive green, both of which I think are really pretty. This blouse is also nice. I think the colors of this floral are perfect for fall and winter. I thought the sleeves were really pretty as well. The tie at the top is nice and the length was longer in the back than in the front. This blouse also comes in orange, in this teal blue, in this red pattern, and in black. Next up is a dress that falls into the more unique category. It's olive green with this layered hem. The unique part is this white embroidery on the top. It has some flowers and leaves, and then there's these two birds. Yep. The sleeves are three quarter length with some similar layering to the hem and they have elastic in them as well. It has a scoop neck and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $38. This dress hit a few inches above my knees and I do like the fit and color of it. I love this green color and it does have pockets, which is great. However, unless you really love birds, I can't see many people wanting to wear this dress, but let me know down in the comments what you think. And it also comes in black also with birds. Next, I found this red embroidered dress. It has an embroidered hemline, it has a tassel tie at the split neckline, and there's also buttons and embroidery on the top. The sleeves have elastic at the wrists, and there's some scattered embroidery on the sleeves as well, and I tried this on in a size small and it was $38. This dress is a very relaxed fit, and the length was above the knees. It has pockets, which is great. I'm loving all of the pockets on these dresses. The sleeves were a good length, and I thought the embroidery was very pretty and this dress also comes in blue. Next I grabbed this green and white patterned cardigan. It's pretty long and it's a fair aisle pattern with some stripes mixed in. I tried this on in a size medium and it was $45. To go with the cardigan, I found these mid-rise utility pants. The color is like a mix between purple, gray, and brown. They are skinny pants and they have open side pockets sewn on the outside. They have a zipper fly and the pockets in the back are pretty simple. I tried these on in a size eight and they were $29.99. I added the white ribbed top from earlier and here's the outfit. 
I really like this. This cardigan is so soft and cozy. I love how long it is. Also, that makes it even cozier in my opinion. It has pockets on the sides, which is really nice. The sleeves were nice and long, and I really love the colors as well. And this cardigan also comes in black and white. Here are the pants on. They fit like a true mid-rise. Mid-rise seems to be a trend with Knox Bros. I really like the color of these, but I did wish that they were a little bit longer. Maybe just an inch longer would have been nice. I also found this mint green sweatshirt. It has this cool ruching on the side and it also has a mock neck. I tried this on in a size medium and it was $30. I really like this sweatshirt. I love the ruching on the side. It gives it so much more interest than just a plain sweatshirt. The sleeves were a good length and I like how mock necks look. I just personally don't love how they feel. Tops that end at my neck trigger a gag reflex for me. It's a long story, but if this sweatshirt didn't have the mock neck it would definitely be a winner for me and I also would love to see this in some fall colors but the only other color it comes in is this dark gray another top I found that I didn't grab bottoms for is this dark purple top it's loose on the bottom and it has buttons and some embroidery at the top it also has some embroidery on the cuffs and I tried this on in a size small and it was $35 I love this dark purple color it's so pretty the hem is curved and it fits tighter on the top and looser on the bottom. The sleeves are three quarter length and the embroidered cuff has a slit in it as well. So I think this top is, is pretty. Next I grabbed this red patterned dress. It has a slit in the front where the buttons end and the buttons run all the way down the front. It has a tie waist. The sleeves are long and it has a V neckline and I dropped it. <laughs> I tried this on in a size small and according to online, it is $40. This dress is midi length and I like how it has that slit in the front. It does have pockets like most of these. The sleeves were a good length and I like the V neckline and the buttons. This pattern definitely has a lot going on and I think it's too much for my taste, but if you're into it, this dress also comes in this orange pattern, in this blue and red pattern, and in solid black. The last item I grabbed is this black and white dress. It has a thick white stripe at the hem with some white patterns kind of above it. It then goes to solid black around the thick stretchy waistband. The long sleeves have elastic at the wrist and some more of the white pattern on there. It has a v-neck line that has this closure and then it's slightly open below the closure as well for a few more inches. I tried this on in a size small and it was $40. I think the shape of this dress is great. It's very flowy on the bottom but also very cinched at the waist. I really like the v-neckline but I'm not a fan of that closure. Again, I think it's unnecessary unless you're a breastfeeding mom. The sleeves have a nice amount of fabric to them and although I'm not the biggest fan of the pattern, I do really like the placement of the pattern on this dress with it being on the sleeves and on the skirt. And this dress also comes in this green pattern and in this red pattern. That was really fun to try on a bunch of the items from Target's Knox Bros. There were definitely a lot more dresses than I thought they were going to be, but I'm not mad about it. If you want to check out any of the items that I tried on today, I'll be sure to link all of them down below in the description for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you are not already subscribed and you would like to see more videos from me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!